ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode through the night toward the mission of their old friend, the Padre, signs of drought lay heavy on the land. Now, Tonto, another dry water hole. Looks as though the things we've heard about the valley are true. We never see drought here in Mission Valley before, Kimisabi. Usually much rain. Yes, Tonto. That's why a prolonged dry spell like this causes much suffering to the farmers. They're unprepared for it. Padre seemed worried in last letter. I don't blame him, Tonto. He loves this land and these people. I only hope we may be able to help him. You have a plan, Kimisabi? Well, I have a theory. It might not work, but it's certainly worth trying. Look here. These water holes are fed by an underground spring. Even in the driest of times, the dirt at the bottom feels slightly moist. Ah, may see. It probably would be impossible for a man to reach the springs by digging. The dynamite properly used might blast into the underground reservoirs. I may understand, but where we get dynamite, Kimasami? The last time we were here, the Padre took us to meet a friend of his, a miner, remember? Ah, uh, man named Jose. He told me he used dynamite in his work for years. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. He didn't seem like a good man, Kimisabi. It might be best for you to go directly to Jose and ask for his cooperation. You should be there by dawn. I'll ride on to the mission and meet you there later. Kimisabi. And so we come again to thee for aid. And without the rains that give us life and make our lands green, we are lost, little mother. And in our desperation, some of us may resort to evil deeds. Some of us may covet things that are not ours. Some of us may forget God. Oh, do not let that happen to us. Help us, little mother. What do you want? A chalice. No! 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 Hokey! Mother of God, Padre, Padre! Oh. Oh. For years we have prayed to the Mother of God that our valley would always have water. We have always kept the chalice there to show our gratitude. Now the drought has come upon us. Our chalice has been taken away. It means, I think, that our faith is being tested. It may even mean Maria that if we keep our faith now, perhaps better things than we have ever had before shall come to us. Oh. Now, try to remember everything. Tell me all about the men who stole the chairs. Oh. Come, Maria. It's really something, isn't it? And when I was a kid, before I ran away from the valley, I used to sneak into church sometimes. I'd just stand there, staring at this baby, aching to get my hands on it. I don't blame you. I never forgot it. Back in territorial prison, I'd wake up at night, sweating all over for fear somebody else would lift it before I could get back here. What do you figure it's worth? Enough money to put us on easy street for the rest of our lives. Belonged to the King of Spain once he gave it to the mission over 100 years ago. Heavy. This wood base comes off. Mm. Are you slugging that around? Mm. Hold steady. Mm. I think I felt it give a little. Try to get. Good. Now we ought to be able to... Wait a minute. What's this? What's what? It's a map. Yeah, sure. But a map of what? Whoever made it didn't even... Shut up a minute. You know, Judd, how would you like to have more money than you could spend in five lifetimes? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the lost treasure of Mission Valley. Lost treasure? Listen to me. When the King of Spain gave that cup to the mission, he also gave enough gold, enough silver, enough everything to take care of the people in the valley for generations to come. But to keep it safe, the first padre must have buried everything except that cup somewhere in the hills. Do you think... I always heard there was a map around somewhere. Hokey, you live in the valley. These lines aren't marked. But, but you ought to be able to recognize them anyway. Well, it could represent in any one of a hundred places. A mountain range, a valley, a, a riverbed. 
That X could mark some kind of a rock projection, but... What about the words at the top? That must be the name of the mountain range. El Lobo. That means the wolf in English, I think, but... Uh, doesn't tell us anything. There's no range around here by that name now. Must have been changed years ago. What's this? These words, what do they mean? I don't know. I don't read Spanish that good. Well, that's just dandy. What do we do now? Go back and ask the Padre to translate? No. No, we'll go up on the hills to see an old miner by the name of Jose. I heard he lives in the same place. Oh, yes. And he reads Spanish. Dawn will be breaking soon. Let's go. I think I do, senor. Hokey Carter, isn't it? Right, Hokey Carter. All grown up now. Your father was a good man, I... Tell me, Jose. Ever heard of a mountain range around here by the name of El Lobo? El Lobo? Why, yes. That is the name the first Spaniards gave to the Sawtooth Range. But why? Sawtooth? The mountains to the west? That is correct. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. What about those four phrases at the bottom of the map? Yeah, that stuff could be important. Here. Take a look at this. Senores, this is very ancient. Just translate, old timer. Well, these words refer to verses of the Bible. The first one reads uh, Isaiah 19, verse 5. The second, Exodus 33, verse 22. The second, or the next one, is uh, Proverbs 26, verse 27. And the last is Psalm, Psalms 1 to 1, verse 1. Where did you get this map? That's our business, old timer. Well, we're no better off than we were. No. We'd have to have a Bible to figure that out. I have a Bible, but... Uh... Get it. I said get it. Senor the Chalice, you have robbed the mission. Get that Bible. I pity you. I pity you for what you have done. For the curse you have brought on your head. Here it is, Hockey. Isaiah 19.5. What's wrong? It's written in Spanish. Spanish? All right, Jose. Translate, starting with Isaiah 19.5. You have found the map, haven't you? You think you're going to get the lost treasure. Well, you're wrong. The treasure belongs to the police. Freedom! Come on, let's... Stop gun! Stop gun! Seems like I've seen that engine somewhere before. Never mind about that. Let's get out of here. How about those Bible verses, Hokey? We don't need them now. Now that we know the treasure's in the sawtooth range, we can follow the map to the right spot. Want me to get rid of the engine? Might as well. Wait a minute. We're not using our heads. That treasure's been buried for over 100 years now. We need all the manpower we can get to dig it out. Now, the engine looks strong. We'll take him with us. Keep your eye on him. You're the boss, Hokey. Wait a minute. Now, Jose did a lot of mining. Always used dynamite. Only find out where he kept it. Sure, it might come in real handy. Here it is. We'll take the whole thing. Pick up the Indian. Time on his horse. What about the old man? Forget him. He's dead. I sure wish I could remember where I seen this engine. Come on, Chuck. I'm wasting time. right to the mission. Can you say the woman Maria was unable to identify any of the men, Padre? It happened so quickly. She was stunned, you understand. Of course. But she was able to remember that one of the thieves called the other Hokey. Hokey? Does that mean something to you, my friend? It may mean a great deal. About a month ago, three men escaped from the territorial prison. Everyone assumed they'd fled to Mexico. One of them, the leader, had been born in this valley. His name is Hokey Carter. Carter? Yes, I know his parents. I'll start on his trail at once. 
However, the drought has made the ground extremely hard. It doesn't take tracks the way it ordinarily would. I know you will do your best, my friend. I'm sure you realize what the chalice symbolizes to my people. I do indeed. And I have the profoundest regard for their feelings. As you know, Padre, I have close friends in every religious faith. And I respect each of them equally. I believe that the paths to God have many beginnings. But each of them has the same destination. Well, adios, Padre. When Tonto arrives, I will tell him where you have gone. Padre! Padre! Jose! I found him in the courtyard. Maria, get some bandages. Oh, padre. Si, padre. The chalice, I have seen it. There were three men. They came to the house. One was Jorge Carter. Oh, amigo, you're here. We must go after them. In time, Jose. But you do not understand. They have found the map. The map, Padre, to the lost treasure. What? A battle with them. There was a shot. When I came to my senses, I saw that Tonto had... Uh... Tonto was there? Here are the bandages, senor. Thank you, Maria. Go on, Jose. Uh, Tonto must have heard the shot. He was overpowered. I lay there as though dead, watching. I saw them take him away to help him dig for the treasure. Where did the men go after they left your cabin, Jose? They rode west. They said the treasure was buried somewhere in the Sawtooth Range. But the Sawtooth Range covers hundreds of miles, Jose. Tonto's life depends upon whether or not we find him in time. Unless they mention some sort of a clue to their final destination. We're beaten before we've even begun. Let me think. Oh, I'm sorry. I only saw a small part of the map. Just a few words. Words? Oh, nothing, nothing important, amigo. No directions. Just a few f Spanish phrases referring to verses of the Bible. That's all. A pious custom of the old days, my friend. Jose is right. It probably means nothing. I'm not so sure, Padre. A hundred years ago, most of the landmarks in this area were known by Indian names. The Padre who made that map might not have been familiar with them. You believe that he made identified his landmarks through biblical quotations? It's a possibility, Jose. You said there were a number of such phrases. You have a good knowledge of the Bible. What was the first of them? What was it? Genesis, no. Isaiah, Isaiah 19, verse 5, I think. Yes. 19th chapter, 5th verse. And the water of the sea shall be dried up, and the river shall be wasted and dry? I do not understand. There's no sea in the South Tooth Range. Perhaps it refers to a riverbed. Of course, a riverbed, something which once held water and was already wasted and dry a hundred years ago. The old Rio Moraga, Padre. Yes, yes. What was the second phrase, Jose? I cannot remember, senor. You must remember, Jose. Try. I must remember. I can see it in my mind's eye, but, but what? Exodus. Exodus 33, verse 22. That's it. I will set thee in a hole of the rock and protect thee with my right hand. A hole of the rock. My friend, you know the old Rio Moraga as well as I. Do you recall the place where the narrow point of the rock goes right down into the riverbed? Yes, I've ridden past it many times. The next place, Jose. The next. Oh, Padre. You've done fine, Jose. I believe we have all the information we need, Padre. If the map itself leads Carter further beyond the Rio Moraga rock, I'm sure I can pick up his trail. Let me go with you. You're wounded, Jose. I'm strong, amigo. Oh. He might need help, Padre. If he does, my son, I'm sure he will receive it. Keep digging, engine. I may need water. <laughs> Is that right? I said keep digging. Hey, I, Judd. I couldn't have met that engine in prison. Maybe it was in Texas. Give me a hand here. I sure hope you picked the right spot to blast. If we waste all that time... Oh, you I saw the map. Now we follow the riverbed right down to the rock projection, just like it said. Right down to where the X was marked. Now stop worrying and get this time life planted. All right, engine. That's deep enough. You can... Tonto! What? Tonto, that's the engine's name. I just remembered. What do you expect us to do? Give you a medal? Don't you understand? That's the masked man's sidekick. What masked man? The Lone Ranger. The Lone? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. He and his masked friend broke up a gang I rode with once in Oregon. I spent five years in prison up there because of those two. Where's your pal? I may not know. You'll know when I get through with you. Hold it, engine. No, What's the matter with you? We've got to make him talk. With the engine here, the masked man must be around somewhere. 
He may be on our trail right now. Are you crazy? Why, an elephant wouldn't leave a trail along the ground we've covered. You know, Hokey, Judd may be right. I've heard plenty about that masked man myself. And so have I. But he's a human being, and he can be taken care of if we just keep our heads. So? What do we do? Like I said, I don't think anybody could follow a trail along the ground we've covered, not even the Lone Ranger. But if we'll make you feel any easier, why don't one of you go back away and set up a lookout post? Not a bad idea. I'll go. And if you hear anybody come and shoot first and ask questions afterwards. And we'll keep on working here. And shoot straight. Right. Now tie up this engine. We don't want any more trouble from him. You better start saying your prayers, engine. Because I have a hunch your services won't be needed from now on. And you might toss in the prayer for that mask friend of yours, too. What is it, Silver? What's wrong, boy? You don't like that blind bend in the trail, do you? Stay here, big fellow. Throw up your hands. Now drop your gun. So you were planning an ambush. How could you have found out where we were? How could you have known? That isn't important now. All that matters is... I wouldn't try that again. So your friends are using dynamite in order to find the treasure. Yeah. Is Tano still alive? He was when I left. There's some rope in my saddlebag. I'll tie you up and come back for you later. I'll get going. But that's where the X on the map was marked. The treasure has to be here. But it isn't. I told you we shouldn't have used all the dynamite on one spot. Maybe if we dug a little deeper. Hand me that shovel. Well, engine, this looks like the end of the trail. There's no treasure, but we've still got the chalice. And I can't think of a single reason for keeping you around any longer. All right, Tano? Yeah, all right, keep us happy. Look out, keep us happy. I should have known you'd not need it. Thanks, Jose. We're third bandit, Kimisami. I met him on the trail coming here. He's tied up waiting for us. We'll pick him up on the way back. It looks though that one waded into a river. Him get wet when him dig in hole, Kimisami. Keep them covered, Tonto. I found the map on the wet one's pocket. What is it, amigo? Apparently, the theory I had was correct. The blast set off by Carter must have driven into an underground spring. You're right, senor. The water is flowing freely at the bottom. I only hope there's enough water to see everyone in the valley through this dry spell. There's only one thing, senor, that the map was wrong about the treasure. Perhaps there never was a treasure. Of course, we should not be greedy. We have the chalice and the water. It's possible Carter dug in the wrong place. No. The cross on the map plainly indicates the base of the rock at the riverbed. And here are the last two phrases I was unable to remember. Proverbs 26, verse 27. And Psalms 1 to 1, verse 1. Psalms 121, verse 1. I know that, Jose. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Jose, look. A cross, certainly. The X on the map did mean a place to dig. But a place to stand in order to see the cross. Come on, Jose. I'll get the shovels. Oh, it is the treasure, senor. It is. Imagine what this means to our valley. Yes, Jose. 
Now you'll have schools, hospitals, sea. You'll need many cars to take the treasure to the mission. Imagine the father's face when we tell him. Imagine! <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. My friends, I cannot thank you enough for what you have done. The people of the valley will be eternally grateful. I hope you'll use the money wisely. You may depend upon that. What will happen to the three robbers, my friend? Tano and I have made arrangements to have them return to the territorial prison at once. They'll probably stay there the rest of their lives. Well, Padre, it's time Tano and I were on our way. It sounds as though the much-needed rain is coming. You are right. Oh, thanks be to God. God bless you, my friends. And remember, you are always welcome here. Return to us soon. Adios. A remarkable man, Jose. They both are remarkable men. You should have seen them fight the robbers as I did. By the way, Padre, there was one more phrase on that map. Proverbs 26, verse 27. What is that one? The most prophetic one of all, I think. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And that is exactly what happened to the three thieves, thanks to the lone ranger. <laughs>